right, so this is the main entrance to Yalku um, Lagoon. And when you pay to be in here, you drive right in so you have safe parking. There is a security guy here and he just makes sure that you're here to use the lagoon. It's a beautiful property. Um, it has everything you need, restroom, showers, the lagoon, the palapa, there's a restaurant, so they are gonna feed you. Um, and it's, it has normal business hours. It's really a beautiful lagoon. So come visit them. Two. Yeah. Two. You have the life jacket with you, or you will to rent here? Um, what do we need? We need life jackets. It's but, mandatory. Yeah, but we have the um, <coughs> mask. Okay. We have we have those. Do you have palapas? Yes. Would you like to rent a palapa? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. One with the best view. <laughs> I recommend you the palapa number three. Okay, so two admissions, two life jackets, and one palapa. Yes. I think that's right. Oh, um, sunscreen. We're gonna need oh, sunscreen. yeah, we're going to need your biodegradable. Yeah, yeah we want that. What else do we need? Okay. What else do we need? We'll order lunch when we're there. So Something more? I think that's it. Okay. Where are you from? Arizona. Arizona. Okay. Two admissions, two life jackets, one palapa, and one sunblock. Correct. Eat, please. Okay. One thousand five hundred fifty-six with fifty cents. Okay. So, guys, it's eighty dollars for two of us, and we get a private palapa. And you have to make sure that you don't put on sunscreen before you come to their lagoon. You have to use this biodegradable biodegradable so to keep their, um, their marine life safe it's really important <coughs> okay you have any ID or driver license with you mm -hmm. yes. can I see please okay. thank you very much and they're gonna hold the ID okay. this is normal My co-worker Alex will need your driver license like the positive of the equipment so don't fear this Alex is not gonna become you just because he takes your driver's license it's perfectly safe right Alex yes okay thanks guys and these are all the fish you're gonna see so you can go to Excaret and spend hundred and twenty dollars a person or you can come here and do all this eighty dollars Okay, so here's the palapa. We have number three, and that's Claudio. He is just wiped down our table, and he's gonna be hanging up our, um, our hammocks for us, making sure we have a fresh bag for our trash. And after we spend time in the lagoon, we'll be able to come back here and lay in the hammocks and then our chef will be dropping by and she will be taking our order to bring us whatever we want to drink and um, and they'll bring it back to us we've heard great things about the food great things about the lagoon pretty excited to do this um, looks like it's going to be a really relaxing, beautiful day. It's humid here, it's hot here, but um, it's going to be a good day. And this is so much less expensive than doing excaret, especially if you have like a large family, because you're looking at, you know, $120 a ticket for excaret um, to do some of the same things that you would do here. And both of us are doing this for $80 with a private palapa. So you're just, you're not gonna beat the price for sure. And we did bring an underwater camera, so we are gonna be taking pictures of the fish. There's lots of fish in here, barracuda and everything. So stingrays should be a really great day.
Here's our palapa. And our hammocks. For $20 for the day. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> the guachile yeah. is, is, is fish in little pieces with a green sauce. Okay. That it's with chile serrano, limon, okay. um, jalapeño. Yeah. It's, it's okay. So that is what the chef is recommending for me. I was contemplating the tuna tartar or the ceviche, and then she mentioned if I like something spicy, she has another dish for me, which I'm gonna go with. I don't like the tuna tartar, and instead the um, the ceviche, I prefer the aguachile. Okay, so that's but what I'm doing. But it's spicy, remember that? Yes, I'm good with that. Okay. We're okay. from Arizona, so we like spice. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do the. Uh... And pollo hamburguesa. Okay. A little bit of spice on it. Yes. And does it do anything else with it? Well, she doesn't. No, I'm good. To drink? Uh, to drink, yeah. I want a Diet Coke. Okay. Did you want anything to drink, honey? No, I have water. I'm good. Thank I you. Water. I'm thinking about ordering a fries. I don't know. Well, we can order again, right? With the hamburger, chicken um, has some um, chips. It's not French fries. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to Okay, and Perfect. then if you want French fries, you decide. Okay. Dejo la seat y luego. Esto, I mean, that's it, right? Yes. Gracias. Yeah, that's it. De nada. <laughs> so, the one big one was over here eating lettuce, and now the little guys came. There was three little guys, and the big one is chasing them off one by one. He doesn't want them here because it's his food. Maybe he played a palapa, maybe he's union. I don't know, but he's not happy with them. So if we throw something down like that and the little one goes for it. Oh my gosh, now the medium's chasing the little. Definitely a pecking order here. <laughs> Okay, so we have to ask you, the iguana's here. Does he know when lunch is served? Who? The iguana. The iguana? Yeah. Do, I've seen him in other videos that people post, like when the food comes, he comes. So does he, does he ha, does... Maybe they know. Yeah, I and think so. And you have to, to watch your food, because if you go and leave your food here... Yeah, it's his. They can... <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Well, he's smart. He knows what time it is. So we have a visitor. I guess he's coming up. I think he wants to be fed. Good great. Oh, shh. Well, throw one over there if I just, hey, no. Come on. <laughs> he wants you. Probably. Oh, never mind. Good. He won't take no for an answer. Um, he's just been eating some chilies. <sighs> he hasn't touched the onions so far. Apparently, they know what they like. Oh my gosh. Okay, there he goes with the lime. The other one didn't want the lime. Hmm. Maybe he just wanted the salsa it was in? Okay, lick him. Okay, we are at day's end, and one thing that I forgot to show you is um, over here is the lockers. So if you want to just rent a locker to put your stuff in to keep it safe, you can do that. And there's dressing rooms, and then over here there is bodios. Otherwise known as bathrooms. And they're super, super clean. Um, flushing toilets, all of that. Um, they smell great, they're clean, there's no problem whatsoever. Um, so everything was great today. Great, great, great.
fabulous day. You should come and check out the lagoon. And those were the fresh showers, so after you get out of the lagoon, since it is um, ocean water, it is salt water, you'll want to rinse off before you go into town or get in your car. All right, great day. Come and check it out.